Hey Busters, welcome back to another Capsule Toy video. So today we'll be opening up not one, but both, both, I guess, of the dual molds for the brand new um, Kame 05 for the Turtle series. So yeah, so here they are. Um, just a quick note, uh, I guess for those who are who like this series and waiting, um, actually this set came out back in the fifth week, so the last week of um, September. So as a posting, it's October now, so yeah, it was a bit late. I saw these along um, quite a few times at the uh, capsule toy stations, but mm, well, I just never got a chance to get uh, both of these. And then, you know, it was always like, cause uh, there's two molds, this one, and then the rustic um, albino, like the white ones, as well as the snapping turtles. And these were the only ones I wanted. And even then I was kind of on the fence of getting this one. Cause it seemed just like uh, the same mold, but a different design. But then I did see this one. So yeah, it ended up going for it, but yeah. Lucky enough, uh, the cool thing about this set is that this time they decided to go with this one, which I think it was the uh, Yose, I think. Uh, pretty much the um, adolescent version, the child one, and then the grown-up version, the, what is it? Uh, no, I know, this was the Yotai and this was the Seitai. So yeah, so let's open it up. But as you guys can see already, um, this is the normal size, you know, it's got the throwaway piece here. And this, because it's smaller, is much smaller, despite being the same price of 500 yen, so... Yeah, quite a different so I figured I'll just open them both at the same time but so yeah so first off let's start with I guess mm, let's start with the small baby one because this is a brand new definitely a brand new mold so yeah so as brand new it has two layers of plastic sealed plastic so it's got one and two so, so yeah let's see Ooh, okay okay so it's really nice and small so so as always, it has the nice design of Kame here. I do like that, which kind of they continue this with the other series like the Praying Mantis and stuff. Ooh, um, probably by the time I upload this, um, for those who do see it, probably a bit late, but um, they're releasing a spider one from the line as well as the uh, the Praying Mantis is like a leaf bug. So I'm gonna get some of those. So, but yeah, um, for those who don't watch my other videos, um, this is just a throwaway piece. It's designed strictly to keep it in a round shape so it can come out of the capsule without uh, getting it stuck. So if you have this, feel free to throw it away or recycle. And here comes the turtle. Ooh, oh yeah. Just from this, it's kind of like a nice matte finish, like pretty rough, so that. So here is the Kameshinbu, number five in the set. And yes, yeah, so uh, I think I mentioned it, but these are 500 yen each, so about five bucks each, so. And let's see, so each time they give you kind of like a newspaper thing, a little blurb about it. So this is the Hyomongame. I think it was a leopard, leopard spotted turtle or the leopard turtle. I don't know why, it's kind of weird. Like I actually looked online Google, like this is the correct design for it. But when it grows up, it definitely doesn't look like this. So I'm not sure why they didn't kind of keep with it. So that's kind of weird, but yeah. So here it just kind of tells you like uh, how you should put the legs and the tail when you um, put it in when it's tucked in and how it comes out, you know, just bits of blurb. And here's the lineup, one, two, so you can kind of already see from here. Let's see if I can get it focused. So, you know, it's just the, all oh, right, the rustic, the rustic version. So here we have the Hyomongame, the Seitai, the grown adult version, Hyomongame, no, the Hyomongame, the rustic type, and then the Yotai one as well, and then the golden Wanigami, the crocodile, crocodile turtle I guess snapping turtles but yeah just like that and then you know the QR codes this is oh if you wanted more um, information this is just the QR code for that and I think this one is for customer service maybe oh no no this is just to see what else they have here this is like the um, survey and stuff but yeah just have that so moving on through the turtle itself oh so it's really nice as well I like how the legs come out here that's really cute interesting so I don't know if it's mine, but definitely, like, the body of this is definitely, like, slanted. If you guys can already tell, it's slanted like this. So the shell goes upwards. So, yeah, so the tail. Am I supposed to lift this out? Sometimes, uh, no. So let's get the legs out here. So, yeah, these things are always, the first time they're always kind of stuck because it's, like, rubber, soft, pl rubber, plastic. So, soft plastic, but rubbery. Hmm, does the tail come out? Come on, little baby tail. So there we go. We got the little turtle. Oh, okay, so I think it only does this much. 
like it might be hard to see here maybe if i can show it off yeah maybe you can see it's a peg there and it's, it's kind of ball jointy but that's about it so i think it just sticks out like that much the legs should be as always kind of comes out here it swivels left and right it should right now so this time the leg is just one piece it's not like this where it's kind of like on a ball joint you can move the legs around so hmm and the leg here can move can it actually i can't is it okay so it's definitely a swivel here so should be able to swivel these hmm i'm guessing you don't even do too much with it but yeah Mm, oh, so mine got kind of like a paint defect, or is that just part of the paper? I feel like this part of like the um, the booklet here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can already see, kind of see. So I guess when it was still kind of wet. So that will just I'll get this off later with some water. But interesting. The legs should definitely move in out. So yeah, oh, there we go. I don't want to do it too much. Yes, it's moving. There you go. There and then the arms. So you got the little joint there so there we go so definitely a rough little guy there you go pull the head out <laughs> his head's always so there we go oh it's a long head <laughs> look at that guy and the mouth as always should be relatively stuck so you just gotta really yeah uh, so when you guys get these guys the brand new they're kind of like stuck in place because of how long it is but once you get it out and kind of like break the parts yeah not break the parts but you know just move it once or twice it loosens up quite well so there we go i'm not sure how wide the mouth is supposed to open so there you go yeah. see as you can see now it's a lot easier i don't want to so it should go about this much you know there's not much too much to it maybe if i like twist it around a bit you know get that little movement so maybe about that much you know and the arms are there the arms here are hmm for a small one this guy is a lot of trouble <laughs> still it's really nice though mm -hmm. i think that might be about it so yeah so i think it's supposed to crawl here but you know what? i'm just gonna loosen up off screen so be right back guys guys i'm back so yeah i finally got him loosened up so much there so you know it's just because like the paint um i wasn't going to show this but i had to take it apart so i just want to show you guys in case um if your arms ever gets popped off so the good way is uh, these are just pegs here so you can just actually if you can get just get like your fingers or maybe push his head in or actually pull his head out you know get your fingers in there and just wiggle these out so so you can just see it uh because this time it's a little bit different inside so i just wanted to show that off there we go you pop one off and then just wiggle it there so the inside is just hollow like that right so this time the difference i think is this extra part here to cover it um so and then if you take it apart so, so that's how you get the best way to like get these out so now the legs as you can see i can wiggle them left and right so i'll ball joint but yeah uh, really nice detailing inside the shell here that you don't really see about so they went out of their way like if i get the focus here like you know they even did like kind of like a pain apps here so that's really cool so really happy really cool about that i think i wonder if you can take this off you probably can but mm. but yeah uh just in case you want to know how to put it uh there are two peg holes here but yeah um unlike the other ones this time like they're just like small pegs here that keeps it in place so it seems like it'll fall out quite easily but mm, yeah Woo, so yeah so you just pick these in here first you know you just line them up get them in and then this part um you want it bending downwards because this little ledge here just hides out in here so you just put this there you can kind of just turn it and then there's two pickles here that go in oops sorry there so just gonna move the legs out of the way so you got some place and then you just push it in kind of just wiggle it there and there you go and once you have that just pop the space back in if you didn't know um uh, kind of like the small pieces for the tail so and then this round part up for the head so nice and simple like that 
But yeah. Really small dude. You know, really cute though. Um, just in terms of paint apps and stuff, you know, really cool. Uh, so here, I mean, uh, on the camera, I guess, it does look glossy because I guess it's kind of like the... Like that. It is kind of like glossy paint, you know. It's soft plastic, so it always has that gloss. But here is a matte finish, so you can see the textured here. Really nice paint apps. Really love it. And the cute really head, really head cute. You know, up that far. So that's pretty much it, you know, for these turtles. Um, you know, the arms here swivel this much, yay much. So maybe about just this yay much. So that's about it for this guy. Let's move on to how he looks like when he grows up. You know? Um, if anything, this should be exactly similar as all the other ones. I'm not expecting too much difference from this one. Uh, possibly might be a different mold based on the shell. I really don't know. It's just based on the... Yeah, it might be actually. So, you know, as always, it's time to get the bigger one. Come in. Plastic. And then you got this thing here. Just the uh, booklet again. Same booklet as always. Completely the same, but much nicer. You know, it's not as cramped, so get these out of the way so yeah so we got the baby here and how does he look when he grows up completely different <laughs> so i don't know really know why they say or why they went with this style i kind of wish they just went really stuck with it but mm, maybe they just want to show off like different tile but i feel like this part is new so that's kind of cool tail is oh i feel like this new tail design is new too so i think the shell is definitely new like I don't recall any of the shells sticking out like this, so I'll definitely show them off in a bit. But yeah, everything else is exactly the same, you know, like um, as the other one, the legs kind of just pull out there. The feet looks, oh, these are kind of like new feeties. Ooh, wow, okay, it's more like a tortoise. Okay, so this one is definitely a little bit different um, compared to the other ones. So his feet is backwards for some reason on mine. I think it's backwards. I don't, I'm gonna be honest. I don't know much about turtles. I like them, but you know. So yeah, this is. Wow, it's. Look at that molding. Like it's almost like it's one piece together. So that's really cool. I just gotta. Hmm. So it's kind of really stiff again. So, but yeah. Just pull some of these out here. This one out here. Pull them out a little bit. Oh, so you can already kind of see joints there. Ooh, this time the leg is kind of loose on mine. And then the head just pulls up. And this, I can already kind of... Ooh, it's definitely really loose. The head, so maybe some like the parts inside. So as always, for these turtles, you can just kind of like take it apart here. And then you can just get inside and fix the stuff. The mouth this time is really put in. So I recommend getting your fingernail there and, or something. And just like put it in and pull it out. So let's see if I can. So... Just like the other, I'm just going to quickly do this off screen. So be right back, guys. Hmm. All right, guys. So got it back. But yeah, um, I thought the head was uh, actually fell off, but it's actually just really loose. And um, yeah, I also fixed the leg. Uh, maybe you guys can kind of see it here. But um, what is it? Let's see if I get that. There you go. You can kind of already see here the paint. Um, the leg was actually twisted backwards. And all the paint pretty much like dried on it. So I had to like dig stuff inside there and just peel it off to get it twisted back. So, so there you go. But so yeah. So just in case you guys figure out like ah, it's really stuck. It's not glued on. It's just the, the paint apps. I don't know why. I guess it's just before it really um dry properly dries off or whatnot. They just set it in. So there's that. But yeah. Let's see. Oh sorry guys. Let me just focus there. There we go. But yeah. Um the mouth only opens about this much. I don't want to pull any more. So. But, you know, the head goes in this much and this much. But definitely seems like a new mold, so. But, yeah. Um, as you guys can see, uh, I think the shell here might be the same overall. Just the sides are a bit different. Like, the um, little part that sticks out here. But, yeah. Uh, you can kind of see it's glossy, but when you touch it, it's not smooth. It's smooth plastic, but it is kind of rough because of these um, edge details. So, But, yeah. So, you can see these lines. These are actually molded detail. So, if you guys listen or they're like ridges so they're just not painted on so they're, yeah uh, paint apps are as always superb you know just like the little bumps on the feet the molding is amazing not 
a fan of the bottom parts here, but you know, all these weird, not sure if that's how it looks like, but um, if you go on the actual website, they do show you pictures of how like the real ones look like and how like they decided these painting apps or paint apps, so um, definitely authentic. The head here is pretty good, you know? Uh, surprisingly, this time, like the mouth kind of just goes under like that, I guess. You know, it's got that veiny head look, you know, goes in and out, so. This one's pretty cute, actually, for the head. Like, the other ones weren't as cute, so definitely a nice one. But, you know, if you compare those sizes, you know, you can kind of, uh, mm, I guess the leg kind of, I'll have my guy out like this. Oops, his legs. But, yeah, uh, the first time you get this, the legs will be super stiff, so, you know, I recommend it. But, yes, these are all on ball joints, so don't worry too, but too much a uh, double ball joint it's actually ball joint here ball joint there all together in one peg so you don't have to worry about too much about it although uh, as long as you wiggle it this way the proper way it should be fine just don't try to bend it otherwise and it has like a molded detail in here so that's pretty cool as well as inside here I noticed um, just like this one if you remove this part you can kind of see an extra piece there just hiding it to make it more realistic so I really appreciate that um I don't think they had this in the um, previous releases so but yeah in terms of size uh, kind of like this you can kind of see a big difference there yeah pretty good so as always with just a quick comparison of the previous releases from one two three four let's see what we got all right so I think honestly I completely forgot I think these were the ones from the first set so as you guys can see from the first one like you can kind of see just the clear plastic in there they didn't do much this is definitely a bit heavier but i guess size wise it's a bit smaller but yeah so i'm just gonna move the baby out of the way because comparison wise you can't really compare him but yeah so if he's here with like the first series you know kind of see like i think all the heads should be yeah all the heads are quite different i think Mm, this head is similar so i thought it was one of the cute ones but you know what let's just bring all so i think these were from set one and then these guys were from set two you know what? and then this guy was from set three and then <laughs> so many turtles don't even have room to fit them all in the screen and this guy was from set four the snapping turtle so yeah uh, this they had the golden one, so you can kind of see there. Ooh, can't remember how butt ugly was, <laughs> but yeah, but really nice though. So that's the whole turtle family from sets one to five. Um, not all of them, uh, I guess. All the, I guess I I only really collect the realistic um, colored ones. I don't really like the um, what is it, albino rustic stuff. So I don't bother rolling those. Uh, I guess for those wondering what I mean by bother rolling those is um. I generally gotcha upon snipe it so I just shine like a flashlight underneath and you, because of these you can kind of tell just by the little bits you can see like the design wise you can see what's coming up next so and then you know the other ones are just pure white it's just the ones I poured but yeah um so at least this time it looks like this uh the in terms of wedge wise um I think this one from maybe set one is the same but if you can see the shell this one is definitely bigger so the bumps on the shell um i think the patterns here was kind of more like i thought it was similar to this one but maybe it's more s similar to this one with the bumps i don't know actually now that i kind of look at it it just might be a completely new mold like this one is definitely wider and this one is a bit smaller comparatively like like definitely okay so i think it's a definitely new move. like i think this one and this one are the same i can't remember what i did when i checked the reviews but it might have been the same lane but like the bottom of the shells were probably a little bit no i think this was just a nice tortoise color with turtle so this might be a brand new mold so each time might be a brand new mold hmm. that's really nice actually oh uh, yeah um I think when I like when I checked them all out, like these sets one and two were generally like the same. If I recall, oops, sorry, Buster. I think from set two, these guys were identical, just the different star shapes. If I recall, although the head looks kind of different, I can't remember. It's been so long, but yeah. Check these out, but yeah. So 
and then the babies there so it's side comparison that's you know about the best i can do um honestly i at this point you know with each release if i keep trying to use the same comparisons as always where i use like all the different ones i'm really not gonna have time so i think i'm just gonna stick with this one which is a trading card so this is the what, play in the digimon card game in japan so uh, it's a normal Pokemon size, Magic Vagate, Ethering, um, normal Trump bicycle size. So I think the dimensions were like 8.8 .8 or something. So somewhere about like 8 centimeters, maybe 8.5. So, you know, just to give you an idea, you know, it's kind of like that. It's a bit smaller than the card. But, you know, if you stretch it out right, about a bit longer than a card. Um, if we keep them just like that, just on a card, fits quite snugly within its dimensions, like so. Width wise, height wise, like the t it's about this much. As for the baby, little cutie pie, he's much smaller, fits completely inside. You know, uh, wide, if you guys want to see how wide he is, he's about like this much. I think across was 6.6 .6 or something. I think I'm pretty sure it was 8.8 .8 by 6.5 or something. I can't quite remember, but something around there. So, yeah, this was some kind of size comparisons, but yeah, overall it's uh i was surprised i thought for sure it was um a reused mold but definitely a new um i am kind of surprised though the shell if you compare uh as, as such i guess i didn't really show it off but like size comparison like his shell is definitely a bit smaller in size which could be um what is it you know for capsule toys especially dealing with bandai i think it's bandai right yeah bandai they generally try to cut costs here and there always for the most part um I think maybe it's comparable to this one maybe kind of so yeah so but um definitely i think if i had to give reason to it they might have shrunk it by say like 10 percent size in order to just give you extra detailing in here as well as the inner parts here so but i definitely do think it's worth the extra you know the difference you know the extra realistic detail when you look inside looks much nicer like if you do it like this you can kind of see the shell it looks really good as compared to say like some of the old releases where you look here you can pretty much see inside it's completely hollow you can see all the like the toy parts so um, just moving a bit you know the soft plastic so but yeah like i haven't touched these in a while but you know it kind of the soft plastic kind of gets stuck here granted japan's humid so but, you know you just gotta move it up a bit and move it to release it but yeah so there we go um definitely if um I guess, whoops, uh, overall impressions, um, as always, really great, um, top-notch molding. i be honest, don't quite like the design of the shell here. I like this design more, like this one is the great paint apps. Um, but molding-wise, it's amazing. Uh, the head on this one is a bit loose. I thought it fell off, but when I opened it, it was just the ball piece there. Nothing, you can't really add like a little bit of glue or whatever to stiffen it up, so, you know, it's great um but yeah definitely really good um paint apps mold apps as always as i said is amazing uh i guess currently i think um like the baby turtle is definitely cute i really like the design of it you know with the mini legs and stuff um so i definitely recommend it uh for those wondering so usually i would say you know as always if you're a fan of turtles definitely get it uh it's actually quite different enough to warrant getting it you know as opposed to i think it was like set two here where they're kind of dissimilar um the baby one's great too granted you know volume wise you don't get as much bang for your buck but however it is really unique and really cute so i definitely i highly recommend getting these set um actually if i had to be honest i think this set while i do wish they you know they say this is the adolescent one this is the adult one and they look at least to me nothing alike um i do think it's a really good one like compared to say all the previous ones uh it's definitely different enough to warrant getting um i'd say like set two i think was the one i'd say is the only one worth skipping because it's too similar to set one and you know so but yeah i definitely really really, really like it especially have it all like 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 this um so but yeah i guess for those on the fence whether you think of getting or not as always every time i get these because i collect these that's why i can recommend it it's at least for me these things are 500 yen it's five bucks a roll you know it's not much if 
pretty much, you know, it's five bucks, it's a meal, less less than a meal now, usually maybe a cup of coffee or something back home now. So definitely worth getting because, you know, unlike coffee, these stay with you for life or until you get tired of them, you know, it makes great dash, um, I'd say desktop pieces, you know, for decorating. I wouldn't recommend actually putting these guys in the dashboard and keep where if you live where it's hot just because it's soft plastic but yeah definitely highly recommend it it's really cool but yeah it's really nice um definitely a little bit heavier than the other ones maybe not as heavy as this guy but you know really nice i'm really happy about this and i can't quite wait i really hope they continue this series you know as more turtles and you know with the designs but yeah that's pretty much it for today's review guys i uh, hope you enjoyed it and i hope i went over uh, the stuff enough for you guys to figure some stuff out and help you decide whether you want to get this or not um as always if i if there was anything i went over too quickly or not enough uh, please let me know down in the comment section below and i'll be sure to get back to you on that and that's about it guys as always greatly appreciate you guys for watching and hope you join me again for the next um, I guess this Ikimonogatari series, Ikimonogatari? No, <laughs> what am I talking about? Ikimono Daizukan series. So, you know, uh, the next one uh, I upload will probably be later this month. Um, definitely the uh, bug, what is it, leaf insects and the spiders. So, uh, not just any spiders for those who creeped out, uh, it's the peacock spiders. So, they're kind of cute. So, definitely keep your eyes out for that video. As always, guys, once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and see you again next time on another Capsule Toy review. As always guys, this is Buster Quinn here, reading about a rock and roll band. <laughs>